All right, correct me if I'm wrong. You seem like you're in a really, really good spot right now, mentally, physically, maybe more than you've ever been in your career. Um, yeah, I, I would agree with that. Um, not by coincidence. Uh, it's a lot of a let's lot let of, do it. A lot of work. Um, a lot of self work on uh, my you know mentality on the way that I am perceiving things on a day to day basis, how I'm perceiving situations. Um, and just how I'm processing through all that. Um, it's a lot of things that happen with our job, right? Um, from the time we get to the field and then obviously we have, you know, workouts, we have practice, especially through camp right now. Um, and then we have the game at, you know, one o'clock or seven o'clock, whatever it ends up being. And by that time, you know, you have to be in a, a place where, you know, I can gut check myself and, and if I prepare the best, I am the best, right? Um, and in order to feel like I am the best when seven o'clock hits, I need to be able to answer the, did I prepare the best in a genuine matter? And um, I feel like I'm, I'm at that place where I can say that every day. You talked very openly about having some dark days when you got hurt um, last year in which you really had to soul search and you looked into the mental side of not only baseball, but of life. Um, that had to be life-changing for you. In the conversations you and I have had, it I know that it is, but for this audience, what did you go through? What got you out of it? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> went to, I have a very good relationship with my agent, Matt um, Ricotta, and called him and I you know, just started talking to him. Like, dude, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I really don't. I, I don't know how I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna get out of this hole. And he was like, you know, have you ever looked into the mental performance side, right? You have all of these guys within, you know, major sports that have mental performance coaches. And I thought he was blowing smoke on my butt because nobody talks about this stuff. Like, I don't know, like in that moment, I, don't, I couldn't tell you one person that I knew had a mental performance coach in any given sport. And I was like, you know what, fine, I'm gonna give it a chance. So I went and um, I had already talked to Vanessa, our in-house lady, she was phenomenal. She was helping me with a few exercises that were really being beneficial to me. And I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this guy a chance that, that Matt was talking about. And so I went and sat down and long story short, I ended up hiring him on, the best decision I ever made. And not only from the baseball side, but from everything in my life. Um, I am such a better husband, such a better father, such a better son. Um, my relationships with everybody that I'm around are so much more enhanced because I'm valuing connection in every single one of them, right? I'm not looking internal um, with pretty much anything. I'm, I'm very external now and, and aware of like what other people need. And, and you know, uh, and my, my mental guy, um, Brian, he has a saying, is you're, you're either two people, you're an energy giver, or you're an energy sucker. And I make it a huge priority to be an energy giver in every you know, altercation, things, whatever happens, whether good or bad, I try to be that energy giver in anything that I do. It's all good stuff. And it's part of the reason I say you're in a good place. I know you're in a good place. And physically on the field, uh, I know the key for you is to stay healthy, but if you stay healthy, you're gonna get most of the playing time in left field. Do you feel, I don't wanna say sneak up on people, but do you think that all of a sudden, Jake Fraley is going to be frontline player, hitting in the middle of the lineup, hitting bombs. That this is the year that it'll come all, it'll all come together. I think that. So my, and I'm going to challenge you here. Please do. You wouldn't be the first. I think that the focus is not to stay healthy because that is again something that's out of my control, right? I think the focus is trying to be present, right? It's being present in every single moment and. Going back to what I said that, so before every single game, if you were to walk with me and, and keep a camera on me, whatever, whatever it may be, right before I get to the dugout, no matter what stadium I'm at, I take a second and I, I gut check myself with the statement that I use. And it's, it's when I prepare the best, I am the best. And when, right before I go into the dugout, I give myself two seconds to, to analyze that statement for myself. And I can say genuinely before every single game that I have prepared the best and therefore I believe I am the best. And when I'm in that place on a consistent basis, then everything that goes into that preparation is what shows up on the field and what you guys have seen. And when I can put myself in that place every single day, I'm gonna be the person that you've seen me be on, on the baseball field. And when you put that together through a whole season, I think I'm gonna be right where I need to be.